This issue is, a ser is, is serious and deserves a substantive response, not a deflection. We therefore challenge the Minister for the Interior to publish the names of persons that he claims were forwarded by the NDC MPs for the secret recruitment. If the Minister fails to provide these names, then his statement must be seen for what they are, baseless, ridiculous, frivolous, provocative, and indeed false. The Minister's announcement that there is going to be a recruitment this year without public advertisement and the sale of forms because the government wants to clear the backlog of previous recruitment is untenable, outrageous, and very disturbing. Since when did the government of Ghana block recruitment into the security services by restricting access for only a selected group in the name of backlog? This is, this is because there is no such backlog, and I repeat, there is no such backlog. Indeed, on the 7th of July 2023, the Public Affairs Directorate of the Police Headquarters issued a press release signed by Assistant Commissioner of Police, Grace Ansan Akrofi, under the heading, Police Conclude 8th 2021-2022 Recruitment Exercise. And there's a copy of the letter from the Ghana Police Service, copy of the letter. And the letter is only two paragraphs, and I read, the Ghana Police Service bring to an end its 2021-2022 recruitment process with an invitation to the last batch of successful candidates to report for medical screening and training. Consistent with our parliamentary oversight, we can assure the Minister for the Interior that the minority will bring a motion to demand full-scale inquiry into the recruitment into the security services since 2017. In fact, if this fails, we can equally resort to Shraj and get Shraj to do what they are supposed to do. But we are weighing our options, and we think that it's about time that we bring this.